हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज गोवर्धन एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन्वेस्टिंग इन टुमारोस लीडर्स इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो आई विल बी फर्स्टली टेकिंग यू ऑल थ्रू सीपीए कैनेडा एंड इट्स फंक्शनिंग मैकेनिज्म पोस्ट व्हिच आई विल बी टेकिंग यू ऑल थ्रू हाउ द रिवाइज्ड एमओयू एंटर बिटवीन सीपीए कैनेडा एंड आईसीएआई विल बेनिफिट आईसीएआई मेंबर्स इन परसुइंग देयर कैनेडियन सीपीए friends talking about cpa canada it is one of the world's largest accounting body similar to icai in india however unlike icai cpa canada has got various provincial bodies for example cpa ontario cpa quebec cpa manitoba and many more that is the reason it becomes very important for a student to decide which provincial body to register with as a student now coming to the most important part of this video that is how this mou benefits icai member in good standing from obtaining canadian cpa designation firstly it exempts icai member in good standing from professional education program capstone 1 and capstone 2 modules and such icai member in good standing can directly appear to common final examination which is a 3 day examination conducted usually in the month of september of every year secondly the mou provides exemption from the requirements of practical experience in canada similar to icai cpa canada also requires all of its students to have practical experience in canada however this mou exempts all icai members who has more than 2 years of post qualification experience and a recognized degree from meeting the requirements of such practical experience in canada note folks here the condition is both they need to have a recognized degree as well as a experience as suggested now for those members who has no degree for them it says you need to have more than 5 years of post qualification experience as a ca in india to obtain such exemption of practical experience in canada now for those members who do not meet any of the two criteria which we just discussed can still apply for exemption based on their pre and post qualification experience as a ca in india however in this case cpa canada shall review their pre and post qualification experience and shall communicate to them if their pre and post qualification experience in india was sufficient enough to provide them with exemption from practical experience in canada that was all about the mou please find the link below from where you can download the copy of mou which we discussed in this video friends so far i have been talking about icai member in good standing let us now understand what does this actually mean for a icai member to be in good standing he has to comply with certain requirements throughout first and important requirement is he has remitted all his professional dues till date second important requirement is he has complied with all the required cpe hours for his level lastly it is important to ensure that there are no disciplinary actions or enquiries pending against the member and he is not held guilty of professional misconduct as long as he has complied with all these requirements he is said to be a member in good standing Hopefully this quick video was helpful and if it was please do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see future videos like this 
please do hit the subscribe button below and in this way you will be notified with the latest content that comes out on my YouTube channel. Lastly folks, do not forget to watch my upcoming video on how to get visa within 25 to 30 business days to appear for exams in Canada. That is all I have for you today in this video. Wish you a good luck. Bye bye for now.